Welcome to sweep number 19. We're looking at multiplying and dividing by 5. Now because 5 is half of 10, we can use that information to help students learn these sets of number facts. That is also, of course, why the 5 times are really easy. Children will recognize early that the 5 times number facts have a pattern in terms of the multiples of 5, if you just say them in order, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I remember being delighted at how easy those were as a child. But more importantly, so students can think mathematically and use that knowledge for something useful, I would ask them the question, why are the 5 times tables easy? And they'll say, because they end in 5 and 0. And you say, why do they end in 5 and 0? Why don't the three times number facts end in five and zero, or three and zero? Because three is not a factor of ten. You can't break ten into equal groups of three, but you can divide it into equal groups of five, and there are two of them every time. So let's say we were looking at five times four. What is four times five? Hmm. Well, we know what four times ten is. Four times ten is four tens, or forty. Four times five would be half that amount because half of 10 is 5. So if we split that array into two parts and we have 4 lots of 5 and 4 lots of 5, how many is 4 lots of 5? What is 4 times 5? Of course it's half of 40 which is 20. So that's a really really neat thinking strategy that makes conceptual sense and makes mathematical sense to explain that. Dividing by 5, we've got a similar strategy for this as well. We, if we use the wording, how many fives are there in, say, 30? How many fives equal 30? Or 5 times what equals 30? Or what times 5 equals 30? Well, we know 30 is 3 tens. And we know that 10 is double 5 or 5 plus 5. So 3 tens would be 3 times 2 or 6 fives. So the answer, 30 divided by 5 is 6, 30 divided by 6 is 5. Okay, so we can use all those strategies. We will teach the students number fact families like this one. We use them an awful lot in all the number facts that we're learning in this program. So the multiplying and dividing by 5, again, the students should um, understand this and they should find it easy to do after the previous work they've done in multiplying by 10. That's it. You can see me next time.